It's New Year's Day. It's been storming for 100 hours. It's been storming like crazy this morning. Big storm system on the way in. We've had some crazy downpours right now. It's a big enough storm system coming in. People that I don't normally hear from are saying, hey, get ready. It says we're in the middle of it right now. Maybe eye of the storm. 20 minutes ago, it was completely black out here. Real, real hard rain. But I don't have a lot of water moving on the property right now thankfully. We're under a tornado watch from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Nothing's moving really, but it uh, doesn't mean it can't change in five minutes. It's about a normal rain, but that could change any minute. Thought I'd throw this stuff on. Bought it uh, a month or so ago from Gander Mountain. Not sure what it is. I mean, I, I can find out what it is. I have the tags and stuff. We tried on a ton of stuff, a lot of stuff, and this was Felt the best, looked the best. There's definitely higher end stuff out there, but it wasn't anything we could go and actually buy. We looked at a lot of Sitka stuff, and the Sitka stuff seemed difficult to order, like through Gander Mountain and Bass Pro and stuff. You had to speak to a employee, and they did a catalog, so we went with this. Both sisters, as you see, are in that, that little goat lean to. Come here, it's me. I saw a chicken in there with them. What's in here? What's in here? A chicken? and two dogs there's that duck that was just down there she's ready to go right in the pen there goes a male right now trying to mount up on her there goes the second one on her you leave a lid off one of these feed bins when you got a storm man and it'll ruin the whole 50 pound bag first it'll kind of get wet it'll smell like it's fermented but a few days after that, it'll be just nothing but mold. In which case, you can use it to you can use it to fertilize your soil with. Good amount of eggs in there for today. Throw a little scratch down there for those guineas. So, what do you guys use for rain, foul weather clothing? This obviously is not foul weather. What do you use on your four wheelers? What do you use for waterproof, like hunting gear? And what do you use for farm work? I realize that's three different clothings probably. I'd be curious to see what, what you guys prefer. I can smell this. This has gotten wet. This tarp needs replaced. And it already, it smells fermented right now. After the storm, we'll probably pull that tarp. I didn't realize that was that. I don't think it was. When I was in here yesterday, <clears throat> I don't think that tarp was missing strips of material on the top. It was not like that yesterday. I wouldn't really be feeding these guys this baby feed. They're eating uh, grower pellet, they're eating razor uh, egg layer pellet, and they're eating scratch. Had a bag of that, so I'm just giving them the rest of that. Got on my super dirty shoes. They started life as Vortex Solomons. They are separating where the tread is, and the feet are already wet in them. I've got my money's worth of that. Here's this berm or swale right here. As the water comes downhill, it catches here. And then as the duck pond overflows, it evacuates out here also. And here's the nest. We can't see it from the top anymore, but it looks like she's still working that nest. She's made some straw. She made a nest out of straw around it. Eggs are still there. The wind already blew this rack in here over. I'll leave it, it's already down. I had a up and comer. Uh, mama rabbit started pulling hair yesterday took her and separated her i see movement in here so she's got some babies in here we'll see how well she takes care of them this mama rabbit had her rabbits or these bunnies had jumped out of here so the loft of the fur is all beat down and now they're huddled in the corner this mama rabbit all of her babies are all over the place uh, outside now so those are the babies we have currently right now in boxes we have more coming so. still under tornado advisory zip ties i don't know why i even buy the eights i use the 11s for everything really i buy them at uh, tractor supply home depot lowe's harbor freight and amazon i buy them wherever what's up big boy this dummy likes to grab these tarps and tug on them and that uh, messes up a lot of the out of the rain area. That's what has damaged those chicken coops up there. That's actually what I'm going to do right now. I'm running to the feed house to grab a new tarp. It uh, ripped quite a bit more last night. We got two more hours under the um, tornado advisory. Five o'clock we go to green, which means nothing more than rain. But 
it's supposed to get down to 28 degrees. It's only supposed to get to 32 tonight, but tomorrow we're supposed to see 28 tomorrow night. While I have a no weather, nothing crazy going on, it's not cold, I'm gonna go ahead and redo that tarp right now. So the chickens need places where they can get dry, so now's a good time to do it. Watch, as soon as I cut this thing off of here, it's gonna start pouring. This tarp hasn't been up there even six months and they've just become super brittle. These are the same tarps we've always bought from Costco and Sam's Club, but I feel like the quality is um, poorer. It's not the same product that they used to deliver. They still come two to a package. The price is up a little bit, but I think they've kind of maintained the price by dropping the quality. You call for backup. Yo, babe, I need a hand getting this tarp over the chicken coop. Call off the reinforcements. These are old ones. Every day I pick these things up. I left the gate open when I pushed through here and all the chickens have run out. That's okay for them right now. As soon as I shake some feed in here, they'll come running. It looks like this one has ripped off also. I might be able to just put a golf ball in here, tie some 550 around it, grab the corner and pull it at an angle, and that'll cover this one for the most part. I did not pull eggs when I was up here earlier, so I will go ahead and pull them right now out of both of these. See, they're already starting to coop up. You gotta be careful sitting these on the ground. The chickens will run up and want to peck the eggs and eat them. I always keep extra chain, bolt snaps, little uh, spring clips, carabiners. For the price you pay for a cheapy carabiner, you can buy a real carabiner a lot of places. A lot of times I'll buy 20 packs of actual climbing carabiners. They're bigger. Um, most of the chain we use, they'll fit through. They're just rated at a higher rating should you ever need it immediately right there where you're at. See that? Little weak egg. Here is the eggs for today. I think I heard an egg crack when I was pushing these in here. The other four-wheeler, I would just throw stuff in the basket and it would just get lost and I would never find it with all the other trash on there. If you leave your zip ties out in the sun, the sun will break them down. When you go to use them and uh, really crank down on them, they'll uh, pop. They won't be of use. Still thrown off by this four-wheeler. The selector on the Yamaha is backwards from this and on the other side. Watching those guineas run is like the introduction to Jurassic Park when the little dinosaurs are running across the, the big plains fields. That's their job. One barks, the other barks. They don't even know sometimes what they're barking at, but something set the first off and the second will do it as a, I'm here ready for you. And a lot of it starts with the guineas when we have overhead uh, predatory birds. That just fell over. When you have overhead predatory birds, the guineas will alert, the dogs will come running, so they know to search the air. And with the dogs there, those birds never land. They did occasionally land and the dogs did get a hold of them sometimes. That is a good place for zip ties right there that have been cut off. I know some of you guys have watched the channel for years and years, and when I say the things about the zip ties, you think I'm talking about somebody specific. I'm talking about just everyone over the years. Guys will be sent out and we'll be like, hey, cut the zip ties off, put all the uh, old tarp zip ties in the trash. We'll come up and we'll put a new tarp on. Everybody will get busy and the zip ties just end up on the ground. As it rains, 
that stuff comes up out of the soil as you walk through it. It's just a never ending battle at this point, And it's not a battle, it's a pet peeve. You'll start seeing it in the videos because I record it every day. I do a daily count of uh, how many zip ties I pick up when I'm out feeding the animals. And every day there are zip ties that I didn't see the day before or have worked themselves out. So it's, it's really not that I'm pissed off at anyone or that it really bothers me. It's just something at this point that has become something I can put in the videos and you'll start seeing it. raining now. I guess we'll see how that GoPro stabilization works. Starting with the 7, they said it was amazing. And then the 8, they said it was insane. And then the 9 and the 10s just got better and better. I have a GoPro 9 and it freezes up all the time. The last couple weeks, that's with the 8. We're back to using the 8. What did I come in here for? The wood chips. I think we're going to wait till the rain passes to put those suckers down. It's starting to rain for real. Mama Duck is out there. They're filling the ground. That's raining a lot harder right now than it was just even when I started when I rode from around back. Let's get up there, get the dogs out of the coop, and we'll call it done out here. How's you guys New Year's? We, uh, we were going to go out of town, Amanda and I, and then we had uh, storm warnings, tornado warnings, uh, ice warnings, 50% chance of snow on, I think, Monday. Um, 20 degrees on uh, Sunday night and Monday night. What I tell you, they're in there eating that old uh, corn. We put a lot of the scraps in here from the kitchen. Some stuff, surprisingly, the chickens just won't eat some stuff. See, they're already starting to rack up in there. They just won't eat some stuff. Whereas uh, it'll sit there and then the dogs will go in there and eat it up. Where they will hang out tonight, who knows? They've got their own kennels and dog loose. But when we came out, they were all in there uh, in that old goat shed with a uh, chicken. Eli built that goat pen. Um, as well as the other one. Those used to be two goat pins that those goat lean-tos are in. The dogs use them now. Do I have everything? Tools. I've got all the tools. Everything's there. It smells weird out here. Yeah, I can't describe it. Pond dish, maybe? Like a body of water where... That, uh, that would be stag net. Okay, thank you very much. You've been wearing rubber boots this whole time we've been out? The whole time I put them on before we walked out of the shop. I will not have wet feet. What is this thing? Stand for something. It says it's a tabletop glove. Maybe there's a burner that goes under here. Oh, Deluxe oh, jet yeah. burner. We saw a little tiny one of the green eggs, and I don't know if it's a demo or if it really is meant just to cook one hamburger at a time with. I think that'd be rather ineffective. Look what I found. Look, a whole box. It's missing four. Do you have any Gorilla tape with you? No. But what if I needed to tape this box back together? It'd be a cheaper way to buy this shit, like a bulk. I'm sure it is on the website of some sort. Does it say it'll run on kerosene? It does not. It says use that oil. Of course it just says use that because they want you to buy their oil. I just thought it was a cute little lamp. It's very small, but I think we'll get that case. We'll go ahead and get another jet boil. You can just carry it. I'll go get a cart. Do we really need a cart? I think John wants me to cart. I think you just want to make your rubber boots squeak. well on to your first new year's resolution you wanted us to have a thousand jet boil canisters this year yes when are you going to start cooking every meal on jet boil i'm not there yet you got it yeah all right more to you go to sam's club get 1900 pounds of rice get homeboy We've been to Sam's Club and Lowe's, both are closed. And is Home Depot going to be open? What do you say? Before you see it in the video, is Home Depot open? What do you think? If I was Home Depot and I knew Lowe's was closed, I would totally be open on that day. Their lights are on at least. There's cars in the parking lot. Home Depot always looks like it's closed. <laughs> so it doesn't look closed. It just looks like they haven't maintained it. it Home Depot needs a facelift. They need kind of a to freshen up for 2023. We just really need some better lighting. 2023, we take our first trip. It's We're gonna run then. down the mighty Mississippi. 2022. Is it 22? Yes. I've been signing everything 22. I think people, I think people actually died. Check this out, comes with little. Dividers, that's cool. Yeah, little that's boxes cool. and stuff. Yeah, there's the pack out radio and charger. I want one of those. I've never right seen here. one. Right. Here, I'll take it and get this. Now the trip's complete. I included you in it. Of course. 
Are you gonna open the door? Are you gonna open the door? What did you say? What'd you say? It's thick. Wet on the outside. But I'm not wet. That's the important part. You gotta push the buttons. Okay, you farted in your truck three times today. How can they not make these clocks be the same? That's a problem for Toyota. So what time is it really? It's really 7.50. We've driven all the way here. We've had sushi. We've been to Academy Sports and Home Depot because those were the only places. I oh, you know what I saw today for sale? Two, um, a Beechcraft bomber fuselage. Okay. Like the whole thing's for sale. We can get it for four grand. Cool. And then there's a cockpit to another plane, but it would be badass to put like in front. Can we, can we put them together? They're not gonna like clip together. Well, no, we of course. Butt them up backwards against each other, probably. Cool. Uh, rockets, armament, bombs. It's in rough shape. It would definitely need cleaned up. Be cool sitting out in front of the shop somewhere.